All right, it's 9.30, and I'm delivering my coil in a very, very dirty truck. It's like it's been through winter or something. That's what Ohio and Indiana will do for you. Um, and I cannot wash my truck for another week. Um, so hopefully I can get... There, there are Maverick Yards dotted around the east, and some of them have... Uh, wash station so if I can get close to one I, I, I don't like a dirty truck and if any of my videos have helped you determine to go with Maverick Transportation I'd appreciate it if you give my name as a referral alright so there's my coil their procedures here are to un untarp outside in fair weather which it is it's all blue sky sunny it's a balmy 41 degrees so um, that's almost too warm I'm <laughs> I feel like I've overheated a little bit, so it needs to cool off a little bit. Um, there are also their procedures to leave two securements on. Um, some people choose to leave chains, and they do give you the option to use two straps, and that's what I did. I used two straps, or these two straps remain because they were part of my overall securement anyway. Um, that's what eye to the front or shotgun looks like. Um, otherwise, it had four chains that cross through the center. And uh, I have one uh, coil block chain that's in the front with three blocks of wood that I've removed and put away, but that's how it's done. Hopefully one of these times I can actually show you the securement method. And this truck in front of me will now pull into the door, and I will pretty much move into his spot and, and wait. And then we'll see what we get next. Um, I do not have a pre-plan as of yet. At least I don't think so. Let me check. <laughs> I could always be wrong. Negative. Um, negative. So, anyway, that's it for what's going on right now. I'll pull inside like that gentleman is doing and then stop in the first bay. And what they do is they inspect the load at this particular location. And then once they're done inspecting it, they give me the signed copy of my paperwork. And then, uh, this is at Murfreesboro. Uh, Tennessee and uh, once it's done being inspected I'm assuming that they direct me to where they want the truck to be so they can unload it with an overhead crane and that would be about it um, there's a nice clean Maverick truck behind me I don't know where he came from but uh, maybe he recently washed his truck on the way down here unfortunately timing is key because you know, weather has been fine, and uh, you get your, your truck washed, and then, you know, winter hits, and they spread uh, uh, salt or chemicals on the road to help melt the ice or keep it from freezing, and it ends up all over everybody's vehicles. So the, the trade-off for uh, safer roads are dirtier vehicles. And, uh, yeah, I know it was uh, negative four the other night, and I had ice in places I'd never seen ice before on this truck. So, but uh, that's all gone now. All that's left is the residue from uh, the road melting chemical properties all over the truck and trailer. So, um, my jacket was covered with, I, I'm looking at myself, but um, I just got a, a shirt on right now and I avoided touching anything with my arms. Uh, but my jacket, when I was tarping this load, was covered with salt uh, products when I was uh, securing this load. So anyway, that's it for now. We'll see what happens next. Alright, there's uh, my next trip. And it delivers tomorrow. Um, going to Gallatin, Tennessee, and then to Bolingbrook. Uh, Illinois, which is, you know, southern Chicago, or eastern Chicago, or just plain Chicago, let's see, yeah, it's pretty much, it's pretty much Chicago, <laughs> so, uh, this may be, this may get modified, so, we shall see, but, uh, gonna go pick up maybe some wire product, I don't know, I've got the GoPro charging, maybe I'll capture it if I'm not busy. 
Because once I get in the mode of load and go, everybody else misses out. Get the dirty. This is just uh, two days. One going through Ohio and Indiana. I mean, I don't know if I have a white truck or a maroon one. Anyway, this is what I've got. It's hard to see, but it's uh, cable, rolls of cable. Uh, similar to, uh, let's see, what would you call it? Skids. But they're not on skids, they're just on timbers. <laughs> and uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine straps all together. And uh, I used up all my timbers. I went to go use my short boards, but they said, no, you can't do that. They have these, uh, I guess, landscaping timbers. That looks kind of ugly, but. They covered it with plastic, then I put my straps over it, and I did that, they had me do that inside, and then come out here and put my tarps on in the wind. But it went pretty smooth, so. Um, all in all, I think it should be a pretty good trip up to uh, Chicago land, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Time to get out of here. It's, uh, man. I wish I had something I can do for this dirty truck. But I have no idea. I'll find out though, I'm sure of it.